the Orc Framework Tutorial Series Video 3. Today we're going to be covering adding our player to the Steam. So let's just jump right into it. Um, well, this is a little bit annoying. Let's go. There we go. Okay. So we're going to go to the Orc Framework. If you don't have this tab open, just Windows, Orc Framework. It'll open up the tab. Um, we're going to go Combatants and then Combatants. Here in the first slot, let's just change the name of that to Brown Pants. He is going to be our hero. Of course, you can change it to any one of the other ones, but for the sake of the tutorial, we're going to stick pretty close to it. All right, let's go down to base settings and then prefabs. So we go over the prefabs. We go over to combatants. So we'll click that guy. Okay, so a couple ways we can do that, as always. There's this way, which is the way I prefer to do it because, I don't know, I'm weird. All right, let's log that guy in there. Okay, so now we have a prefab. So what we're doing essentially is we are making it to where this combatant is part of our list of combatants. So when you're creating heroes, enemies, they will all go here. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go into our scene and let's create, uh, let's go to a scene wizard. Make sure that you're in, that's why I went to scene wizard. Make sure you're in the town scene. Let's go to the scene wizard, create object, spawn point. Okay, so what is a spawn point? Let's let's go over that. This is going to be where your character spawns. Keep pressing the blue one. Okay, so uh, a couple things we're going to do while lining this up is we want to make sure it's far enough away from this area right here because this is where we're going to put our uh, scene changer in a later tutorial. That's going to take us to the town. So we want to make sure that when you spawn, you don't spawn next to the trigger for the scene changer or you'll just keep flip-flopping between scenes infinitely. And that's no muy bueno. So let's go ahead and... Put our scene changer in here. Let's look or our spawn point. Let's look at that spawn point zero. That's good. That's the name's fine. Spawn ID zero. Now that's important. We want to make sure that that's that, that that's what it is. So let's go over to our framework. And now that we have that set up, we're gonna go and we're gonna create our first event. So events are how things are driven in Orc that uh, avoids programming. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. Event, what events do is they allow you to create, a, create anything that you're trying to do. So you want to make a camera change, you're going to do it in events. You want to do literally anything, you're going to do it in events. So in doing so, let's just, yeah, okay. Um, here we go. We have our very first event that's completely blank. Nothing's going on here. We're going to leave this blank, actually. We don't need to do anything necessarily with this one's settings. What we're going to do is right-click, add, got a game, and then we're going to active group. I'm sorry, uh, player. Sorry, active group. There we go. I remember the order of these things. And then we're going to do join active group. Okay. And now you notice that it already has brown pants in here. That's because in combatants we only have the one unit. So since we've only created brown pants, he's the only one that's available. All right. So that now that we have that done, you can leave all of this uh, the way it is. You don't really need to mess with anything. Let's right click on this red square, open this menu up, and we're going to go back into game. So from add game. And then we're going to go to player and spawn player. All right, and if you notice here on the right in the inspector, uh, spawn ID is zero. So that coincides with our spawn point that we put into the game. And that is pretty much it for the event. So go ahead and save your event. Now, before you do that, there's one thing that I did do, and you could do it in the uh, save event window. Um, if you notice in, in my uh, assets list, I have a separate folder that you probably don't have. It's called events. So I made this to handle all my events. And it's pretty simply just uh, go to create and then folder and then rename it events. And then inside that events folder, I made three more folders, battle, battle, and battle start. This is where all my camera events and little things that I want to do in my battles will go. This is where all my battle end events will go, battle starts, and then uh, battle start events. And then all my generals will just go out here, things like spawning, you know, scene changing, just basic things. I may make folders later just to keep things organized. So now that we have that all taken care of, and I've explained that, let's go ahead and save the event. And uh, we'll go to events here, and then we'll call it uh, start event. Okay. Save that. Save all. All right, there we go. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to go to our menus tab here, and then go down to main menu. And if you remember, we set this stuff up before in, uh, in a previous tutorial video right here. You remember we created that event? Well, this is where we're going to put it. So start event, just go ahead and little circle guy, and there's only one, so it's pretty easy. And just put that in there, and we're done. You now will spawn your character into the level. So he'll spawn right here, 
but we're still missing one step and that is animations. So let's go over to base controls right over here in the top left and animations and then you'll see default. All right, we don't need to change the name of that. That's totally fine to leave it default. Um, what I do want to show you real quick is this. So if you see, this is a preloaded list of a uh, bunch of different animations that you can use. Now you can always create more by adding right there at the bottom and removing. Um, these don't necessarily have anything driving them. There's no data behind them. It's just that they are lists that are available to you, right? So that you don't have to like make all of these every time you're working on a project. If you're just working on something that's really basic like the tutorial, if you're just following along in the tutorial with the tutorial resources, you're obviously not going to use those for uh, a real game. So let's go into our animations here and under default, we're going to use legacy animations. And you're going to uh, just add legacy animation there, give you legacy animation zero, and it will always go to idle because it's zero. So it's the first one. So let's just go in here, animation name, idle, ensure that it's lowercase because that's the name of the animation. If you're looking for the animations, you're going to find them here in models and then egg entity the prefab egg entity and then you'll see down here here is all of the uh, animations assigned to him he has all of these and if we go back up to prefabs there we go combatants brown pants you'll see that there it is there's the egg right and this is the stuff that has all that other stuff that was in it so we're good to go okay so now that we're there uh, make sure that that says idle and we saw that in the animations that's what it was called uh, set the layer. Let's go to negative one. All right. Um, and what we need to do is we need to add another one. Okay, so legacy animation one. Change that to walk. And lowercase as always. Oops, walk, not walt. Different person. Set layer to zero is fine. So go ahead and copy this. And then you'll see it's walk again. And let's just change that to run. Run. And then we're done. Okay, so we can save settings. Confirm. Okay, there we go. So let's go to our scene and actually let's change over to the main menu. Yes, I will save. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and hit the play button. Now you might you might notice um, that if you did have any issues, right? So you followed along and you're like, I don't have any of my animations. I don't know why they're not here. So if that does occur and you go into your tutorial resources and you look up the models and you go to the egg entity and you drop and you go down the drop down list and like none of these are here right the animations are missing or something that you might see it more readily is you go to combatants and you click on brown pants and the idle animation is just missing from here you're like why is that happening well that's because they didn't make it in the asset package so you just go up to the asset package import and then uh, import custom package and then you'll import that package wherever you uh, downloaded it to. So the thing that could happen, though, is it may remove your Orc Game Starter. If that's the case, it's not difficult. You just go right back in here, add Game Starter, add it back in. It might have also reset your town settings. So all the stuff that we just did, you might have to go back through and uh, add, like, the little spawn point widget. You don't really have to do any of your settings. All that stuff is saved. But the town scene itself, everything will be removed that you altered. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and hit play and see what happens. All right, menu, good. Hit new game, perfect. Boom, there we go, camera's up. And arrow keys, and he's working. All right, so as you can see, we have no animations. So let's plug those in. So the org framework, and then combatants, combatants. And we wanna roll, scroll down. Oh, this will take a long time to scroll down. Okay, animations, animation settings. So we want to make sure that we're using uh, legacy. If you, I closed, all that does is it closes all the drop down the ribbons so that they're minimized, <clears throat> which makes it a lot easier to search through some of these, which are very large. Um, and animations, we only have the one that's default. You remember we set up those legacy animations. We don't need to worry about this setting. Let's use auto animations, and we are done. All right, so that should fix the issue of not having animations. So go ahead and save your settings. Confirm, save. Okay, let's go ahead and play again. Now, if you notice, he's got a little bit of a little bit of a wobble to him, and he moves. Yay! We have some animations in there. Sweet. All right. 
So that's going to call it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like the videos, uh, remember to like, subscribe, and please comment. And let me know if there's things that you know you want to see additionally to these. If you want longer explanations on some of this stuff, I'm trying to keep the videos pretty short to make it so that if you are following along with them directly, that it's easier to scrub through an eight to ten minute video than it is to scrub through a thirty to an hour long video where you miss like one small step. So I want to keep them short and bite sized so that you can never really get lost in them. All right. So thank you for watching and uh, see you guys in the next video.